if the UPA form a win this upcoming election and form a government, how will you resolve this conflict? And according to you, according to your perspective, what will be the best solutions for this uh, ongoing conflict between the two communities? All crowd who have gathered over here, we are proud to have you. Please feel at home. You are welcome here anytime, always. About the first question, you know, viewers just mentioning that the BJP government didn't settle the issue between the communities. I feel that it's not, they didn't settle the issue. They don't want to settle the issue is the major problem. They don't want those issues to be settled, but instead they want more issues to be happen like that throughout the country. In Manipur, it is between two communities. In Gujarat, you know what has happened. In Musafarpur, in UP, you know what has happened. So all those issues, they just ignited just before the election so that the majority community with whom they would like to represent would think in favor of them. They try their chances in issues like this. If issues are not there, they even try to make it. You know how Rahul ji has conducted his Bharat Jodo Yatra and the second phase of Bharat Jodo Yatra from Manipur to Mumbai. From Kanyakumari to Kashmir, he traveled 4,000 kilometers. Have you ever heard a single statement from him that may ignite any communal conflict between any of the communities throughout the country? Have you heard any statement that may divide the people of this country on the lines of religion or caste? So if ever we are coming to power, if Rahulji is leading India, the India which we all cherish to be, in that India, there will not be issue like Manipur. If ever someone is trying to make such issues, it is definite that the government will be involving to settle that issue. That is for sure. We won't prolong the involvement. When Rahulji tried to visit Manipur, he was not allowed to visit. He was even tried to. He was. He was even stopped to, uh, from visiting Manipur. You know how the state government and the central government acted there, and the prime minister himself, who talks about everything under sky, you know how late he was to open his mouth on this issue. So that means if the things are favorable for them, and if they see any political chances in that issues like this, they will. They will wait that to develop. They will wait that to progress. They will wait that to create divide among the community. We have seen it empty number of times in India under their government at the state or at the central level. So definitely you can be 100% sure of this thing that if India is elected to power, if India alliance is elected to power, if Congress is leading that alliance, definitely it will have to stop, it will be stopped and just due to the involvement of the government, which don't want people of this country to divide each other. So I've been talking the same point today in so many meetings, public meetings was there. You know, he uh, crossed 4,000 kilometers in this country. He was on the uh, 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 streets for six months. During all this period, there was not even a single statement which will divide the people of this country. Even the Yatra name was Bharat Jodo, which means we all know that. India must be united. So what we feel about our party and what we feel about our leader is that he is the only dear leader and ours is the only party which can win only when India unites. The other thing is just opposite. They can win only if India divides. So that is the, what they are trying for and that is what we will be trying for if you are in the power. You can be sure about that.